What's going on guys? Thank you for clicking on the video. I want to do a little update for you guys here regarding um, my training split. So I know you. I've talked to you guys about having um, like sh some shoulder weaknesses and things like that. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a past video or not, but as of this week I started doing a push-pull legs, like my normal split that I have been doing for the longest time. Um, I started doing that again, um, and this time I've been doing a lot very light weight, and about four, three to four sets, and 12, 10 to 12 reps each, and like I've been doing, um, and it's all, my shoulder tends to affect me when it comes to push movements, so like I've been doing dumbbell overhead press instead of like the barbell overhead press, um, which I do 15 pounds, so it's not a lot for dumbbell overhead press. Um, I do do the dumbbell incline. I can kind of work my way to 20 pounds, but sometimes I stick with 15 just to be on the safe side so I don't like hurt my shoulder anymore. Um, I can do push-ups no problem, so I do push-ups almost every day because I'm trying to increase my strength with being able to do push-ups. Like right now I can do about uh, 35, um, that's with having like two breaks in between. So I'm trying to increase my like longevity of being able to do push-ups without taking a rest break. And um, bench dips, I can still kind of do. That's also part of my push routine. Uh, it's a it's a give or take. It's kind of depending on how I'm feeling that day with my shoulder. So sometimes I'll still do bench dips. Sometimes if I'm like, mm, I'll kind of, I don't know, I'll kind of lay off and not do bench dips um and then the other one is uh i'll do i'll use the smith machine and do some bench but don't put any weight on it just to kind of make sure i'm doing just kind of getting the movement again and i can do chest press the machine the chest press uh, about 55 pounds i can chest press with pretty okay not feeling much tension, feeling a little bit of tension in my shoulders, but not a lot. And if I'm feeling a little more than, and it's making it a little uncomfortable, I will just go to 40 pounds. And I also now started doing the shoulder press and I literally did 10 pounds. And it felt good, it didn't hurt, I had no uncomfortable or it was no discomfort. So on my next push day, I'm going to try and do 25 pounds or maybe even 15 and kind of see like how that works for me. Just because I th I'm thinking like maybe because I didn't really ever implement a lot of shoulder workouts, especially from working out at home. Like I didn't have the equipment to have like to do shoulders really. That maybe once I started in the gym, because I hadn't worked my shoulders as much, they were kind of like, whoa, you know, that kind of thing. So they're like a lot weaker than a lot than my other muscles. And one thing I wanted to say is, so I'm obviously not by any means doing like bodybuilder or powerlifter, like in incredibly strong man weight like the most i've been squatting is 110 uh leg press and the um isolateral leg press those are two different things like i can bet i can like press about 120 um and so you know that's a little different but like squatting like i'm not comfortable with that but even though i'm not squatting our deadlifting like I don't know 500 pounds or 200 pounds or 300 pounds I still you guys just for prevention and being proactive I still wear a lifting belt I still wear knee sleeves I still use um, wrist wraps just because I'm being proactive and because I have back issues and my wrists have went out sometimes and I feel like sometimes my knees are going to go out. Just because I have those issues, I'm just trying to be proactive from preventing myself to get any 
discomfort like that or to blow my knee out or to hurt my wrist to where it hurts to like where my I hurt my wrist once to where I couldn't even wave to my son when he was at the bus stop like that's how bad it was so I have been taking steps to help me not have those issues and I mean I'm pretty sure some people look at me at the gym like why are you wearing a weightlifting belt and knee sleeves for squatting 90 pounds you know, or deadlifting 85 pounds, you know, and I'm, um, I really don't care, because I know for myself, that's what I need to do, and if I want to be healthy, and I want to continue going to the gym, and training, and doing something I really enjoy, that's the steps I need to take to do that, so by any means, guys, if you feel that you need to use something, and you're worried that you're going to be looked at weird, because you're not like lifting a million and one pounds or you're not lifting the amount that you should be when you're using whether it's a weightlifting belt wrist wraps knee sleeves um or slingshots or like um just anything if you feel more comfortable using that do it because that's honestly like my big recommendation i would definitely keep continuing to use my weightlifting belt especially when i squat just be and deadlift just because i feel better i feel tighter and my knee sleeves too like it just feels so much better and so i feel so much more comfortable so i just wanted to touch really quick on that i know this is probably a very very short video compared to like my last ones but you know i'm, I'm sure like anyone out there has seen me sees me working out and I'm not I have I don't have like four plates on my four plates each on my squat rack or my deadlift they're like why are you even wearing a weightlifting belt or knee sleeves because I'm just being proactive I don't want to hurt myself I don't want to be out longer I don't want to have to restart from the progress I've made because I have an injury so that is why so don't be afraid to use any accessories that you feel that you need and I cannot stress that enough. So that is pretty much going to be this video. I know it's pretty short. It was just, this is one video I actually kept to one topic. So, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed these. Like I said, I'm trying to keep putting more topics out there for you guys, keeping more content coming. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I will see you guys in the next one.